Hello, this is Michael Jill, and today I'll be doing a review on the Workhouse FC13. And I just bought this for $39 on Amazon. It comes with an instruction booklet, a Type-C to Type-A cable, a lanyard, and a bunch of extra O-rings in here. The two extra O-rings are in case the other ones get ruined. The box has got very nice, as, as you can see, it's a nice, uh, nice box. It's magnetic even. And it has some foam inside to keep it protected while it's in transit. Let's talk about the actual flashlight. Whenever anyone talks about this flashlight, they usually compare it to the FC11. So uh, I guess I'll take a look at the FC11 um, and the differences that it has. First of all, uh, it is a little bit shorter than the FC11, as you can see, and it is a little bit thicker than the FC11. Uh, it's a little bit heavier as well. It has a double clip, which is nice. This only has a single clip. Um, the button on the FC11 is the regular button with a little cover over there. This is a new button and I really like it. It has a lot more resistance to it. The feedback is very nice when you actually click that button. Plus it has the aux RGB lights which are very nice. It also does have the same exact spot for the lanyard as you can see right here. They look very similar if not exactly the same. Uh, one thing that the uh, FC11 does have is that this tail is magnetic whereas this tail is not. You can buy a magnetic tail on Workhouse's website. I think it's just like two or three dollars, which is nice to have. The body of the FC11 has these, uh, I guess, these grooves over here. The FC13, a little bit different. Uh, the grooves look different. Um, I'm not sure which one I like better in my hand. This one is definitely the more uh, everyday carry type of thing, where this is also everyday carry, but uh, a little bit thicker. So this might be a better choice for the everyday carry. However, um, there is a Type-C port on both of them. This one has a thinner one, as you can see right here. It is thinner. Uh, the one on the FC11 is a little bit thicker. So, as you can see right here, um, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, what that means is that I have an anchor cable right here, which plugs in really nicely to the FC11, uh, but actually does not fit into the FC13. On the top, there is a cool orange bezel. It does act as a reflector and keeps the light smoother. And of course we have the warning label right here. As you can see right here, I have an anchor cable and I could try to fit it in, but it actually will not go in because uh, this hole is actually not wide enough to allow it to charge. However, the cable that does come with it does work perfectly. And I will show you what happens when I plug it in. Let's charge it up and I'll show you. All right, and when it's charging, it's gonna blink orange like that. And it just shows a constant orange light when it is fully charged, just like this. And it is waterproof, so that's why there is such a, I guess, thick um, piece of rubber there by the charging port. It does have a reverse charging function, which means that if I plug this in to here and then into my phone, it will charge my phone, which is very nice. However, I can't display that right now because uh, this cable is actually too thick to fit in my phone and therefore um, I don't have any other Type-C to Type-C cables offhand so I can't show you. Obviously I'm a fan of the tab, it's easy to open and close so at least that's good. And It does have an IPX68 rating for waterproof. So let's open it up and show you the inside. Obviously this is the way to do a mechanical lockout, just turn it half a turn like that and the uh, all the lights are off, it will not work anymore so keep that in mind. And let's take it apart and let's show you what it's got. Oops. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. And here are all the parts. Um, now let's take a look at the battery. It is a 3000 milliamp battery, hour battery and 18650, which is nice, which means it is interchangeable with the other 18650 batteries, such as the FC11. So let's open it up and take a look. As you can see, you could use this battery, which is really nice. Another really great function is that you can actually use it with the small tube. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. Here is the 18350 tube that you could buy on the Workers' website. This is just like $2, so that's really nice. Um, instead of using this tube, you can use that tube. And you can put an 18350 battery in here. Unfortunately, my 18350 batteries are not here yet, but this is what it will look like, and it will work totally fine. Uh, because they are meant for the FC11, FC12, and FC13. So that's really nice. Buying this tube is definitely a great idea. So the 2.4 amp charging is really nice because 
it also can charge your devices at 2.4 amps. However, um, as you can see right here, 2.4 amps. So um, I just think that uh, it might be a little bit too many amps for the cell. I don't know if it, you know, what kind of cell workos is using. Um, they usually use pretty decent quality stuff, but um, I'm, just, I'm just a little bit nervous about the high amperage that it's using. 5 volts, 2.4 amps. Seems like a little bit, um, a little bit high for in uh, 18650. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, I really do like how it's a power bank, but keep in mind that when the aux lights are on in general, um, it will drain the battery really quickly. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, your battery might be draining uh, much, much more quickly uh, with a flashlight like this versus the FC11, which does not have any uh, aux lights. Um, so if you do have aux lights on, it will drain your battery a little bit faster. Now this light used to be uh, with the only the SFN43. Uh, the SFN43 actually um, is a, let's just say it's not people's favorite uh, LED emitter. So um, people were very unhappy with that and uh, Workos uh, does listen to the customers and they actually immediately change it to have two, two different options. So one of the options were the one that I have right now, this is the SFT40. Um, and uh, people like this one a lot. And I'll give you the reasons why, but the also the other option is XHP 50.2. So, um, and I have the 6500 or 6500K um, tint, I guess, on the light. So that's my personal preference because I'm gonna use this as an outdoor light. And I think the higher tint is better with outdoor lights. Something like 65,000, uh, 6500 or would be better outside. Now the uh, SFT40 actually is a little bit cheaper, but the reason why I bought it was really because of the good throw and spill that I provided. Um, it does still, at a lower level, provide decent range. So using less battery, it wasn't able to you know, provide more light and much better than the XHP 50.2. However, um, I'm pretty sure that the XHP 50.2 um, has a more impressive light on the higher turbo modes stuff like that but uh, if you're just looking for something to uh, you know keep a uh, strong light at lower levels then this might be the better option for the SFT40 and I'm glad that SFN43 is discontinued um, that was not as good of an, as an emitter uh, and I, I could just show you real quick um, you'll see the throw it's pretty decent on this light uh, but if you want to compare it to the FC11 you can see over here the throw is not as much for the FC11 you look at the angle right here uh, this has a better angle, and I think it's because of the, uh, the bezel that it has around the orange bezel, which I think is very nice. So, um, I hope that kind of shows you something about the lights. Um, yeah. Now, I bought this um, diffuser for the FC11, which is really nice. Um, it keeps the whole um, area lit, whereas the regular flashlight will just, you know, light up what's in front of you. Um, let's check if it fits on the... It does fit on the FC13, however, just keep in mind that you do have to stretch it, so it might ruin your diffuser. But uh, it does do a good job, and it, it keeps the um, whole area lit up, so it's like a fully, a really, uh, it really does a full area of light, which is very nice. Like I said, the uh, head of the FC13 is a lot wider than the FC11, so that's the reason why it doesn't fit as well. But it still does fit, so you can still buy this and just stretch it out a little bit. Another differentiation is, is that the FC11 actually does um, only have... Uh, you know, some basic functions like uh, switching from step mode to ramping mode and stuff like that. Um, you know, you keep it different, uh, you know, you have moonlight or whatever, stuff like that. However, this has Android 2 on it and uh, therefore it has a whole array of functions like moonlight mode, firefly mode, strobe, voltage checking, a lot of different functions and of course the RGB. So let me show you how to uh, use just a little bit of Android 2. And I am not a personally a professional Android 2. As you can see, it's a very complicated UI, Android 2, but the good part is that Android 2, um, they have a simple mode and a more complicated mode. So out of the box, it'll come with a simple UI. If you want to change to the more complicated UI, you would have to click it 10 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on the 10th one you hold it, it does make a flash like that, letting you know that it actually is in the more complicated UI. And now we can change the RGB settings. So we're gonna click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now it'll be in blinking mode. As you can see, it's just blinking. The RGBs are just blinking. And it's one light and then one more intense blink uh, every second or so. Let's change it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and now it's off. So now the aux lights are completely off. You can leave it off um, to save battery or let's say you know you don't want it for some point. So that's that's really nice to have. I like the fact that it does light up all the time. It's easy to find at night, easy to find in the dark, which is really nice. But if you do want to turn it off, there is an option. So now we're going to turn it back on to low, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's going to be on all the time, but on a very low light. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to... There you go. And now we're going to click another seven times to make it on high again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I would end up leaving it on low most of the time. And now we're going to change the uh, RGB color. So that was the change to RGB mode. Now we're going to change the color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. And now we're seeing different colors. So you could let go whenever you like the color, or you could let go when it's turning on rainbow mode. So now it's on rainbow mode. As you can see, it'll change like that. And now it's in rainbow mode, which is super annoying if you are just having a sit there. It could, it could bother you. Um, maybe using rainbow mode when you are on the low setting could be better. Now let's just change a different color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think, okay, so let's, let's choose uh, blue. That's good. Um, so you just let go whenever you like the color and it'll keep that color. So in conclusion, um, what I would tell you is is that uh, should you buy this flashlight? Now if you are a flashlight enthusiast and you like the RGBs, you like Android 2, it's important to you, yeah, spend the extra few bucks and get this flashlight. Um, you could always change out uh, the tail cap for a magnetic tail cap if you really want it. Um, if you like the RGBs, you like the light lit all the time, that's a really good option for you. The bezel also looks very crisp. I like it. It has a double reversible clip, it's waterproof, and of course it has Android 2, which is really nice. And there's simple and complicated UI, so that's good for everybody. At the same time, this is a really simple UI. There's no uh, Android installed on this. It's just a simple UI, ramping mode. It has a magnetic tail clip. Um, it does have a really good light. And also another thing to point out is that uh, if you find yourself using the power bank option a lot, uh, and you don't want your battery to run out ever, then this might be a better option for you because uh, it does fit more a bigger variety of USB. C cables, well this one only will use the one that comes with the device and some other thinner ones, so keep that in mind. Uh, at the same time, you could just use the one that uh, Workhost has provided. Um, and the last thing I want to say is that Workhost this has a very good customer service, so if you find yourself uh, in a situation where um, you know you need help with anything, they're really good, so that's another reason why I definitely chose wor choose Workhost over some other brands. Um, I like their lights. You know, I paid for these, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Have a good day.